Good morning, boys and girls. It is time for chapel. Ready? Help me sing. It's time for chapel time. It's time for chapel time. Get off your feet and find a seat. It's time for chapel time. It's time for chapel time. It's time for chapel time. Get off your feet and find a seat. It's time for chapel time. Great job. All right. Well, we are ready to finish talking about all the things we are thankful for. So there are 10 things total, and these are like kind of the top 10 things that we should really be thankful for. And sometimes there are things that are right in front of us and we don't really even think about it. All right, so let's review the five things that I talked about last week. And they're in no special order right now. So this, one of them was our house. Whoops, our house. We're so lucky to have a house with a roof over our head and a warm, cuddly bed with blankets and um, all kinds of things that keep us warm when it's cold outside, keep us dry when it's rainy, or keep us cool when it's hot outside. So we are so lucky to have a house. Another thing is we are so lucky to be able to go to the doctor. Even though it may not be a fun thing, we might have to get shots, or if we're really sick, we might have to get medicine. The doctor is so lucky for us to have a doctor that we can go to and get medicine to help us when we are sick and do, when we do need it. All right, another one we said was clothes, clothes. We have lots of different clothes. When I come and Miss Lee comes and we do different tapings, you see us in different clothes. You guys wear different clothes every day and you have different jackets when it's cold and you have different shoes. And, and you know what, then they also get to be clean so we can wear them again instead of just having one outfit that might stay dirty or wet or might have holes in your shoes. So we are really lucky to have all kinds of clothes, even school shirts. <laughs> all right, another thing is food, food and drink. All right, lots of water, milk is good for you, muffins, all kinds of fruits and vegetables and crackers and all the things that we eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and our snacks in between that our moms and dads can go to the store and get that food for us for you guys to have when you're hungry. So that is so important and we're so lucky to have that. All right, and the last one for last from last week was our flag. And talking about that we live in the United States of America and we are so lucky to have freedom and have choices, all right? And not be told what to do. Um, and just have that system in place, our government, all right? So those are the things, let me put those up, that we talked about last week. So I have five more, so there's 10 total. So that was five and I have five more. Well, one of the very first things that I wanna show you today is your teachers. These are all of the teachers. Now, I know some of you have been here before and some of you are brand new and you haven't met your teachers, but after Thanksgiving, your teachers are going to set up a time that you and your mom or you and your dad or you and one grown up can hopefully come in and see your teachers and see your classroom. So we are, we'll be ready to start. Your teachers have been working so hard and they're gonna come in after Thanksgiving and get your room ready, your classroom ready, and be doing all kinds of things that will be really fun and exciting for when you guys come back to preschool and your teachers have been praying over you, they got your list of names and have been thinking and praying over you. So our teachers are so important. And you know what, you guys are just starting school. You're going to have a lot of teachers and hopefully there will be some very special teachers in your lives because teachers are wonderful. Another thing that is so wonderful to have is friends, all right, friends. And sometimes you might have lots of friends or you have some friends that you do all lots of things together. And sometimes you might have friends that might live far away or you only get to see them every now and then. And maybe right now you maybe not don't get to see many of your friends right now because we have to keep safe and keep the germs away. But some of you might, hopefully, you'll get to go play outside on the playground or meet a friend someplace because friends are important. And having a friend, like Miss Lee, Miss Lee and I are friends and we get along and sometimes we don't always agree, but do you know what? We're there for each other and we're gonna be honest with each other, we're gonna tell each other the truth and we're there for each other in the good times and the bad times, okay? So I have, to remind us of friends, I have two books, I love books, and both of these books are about friends and that they're all different. So this book is about a rooster, a pig, and a mouse. 
They're all three different animals and they all three like different things, but they were trying to do everything the same and everything together. And that doesn't always work because we are different. So this book was that they realized that they could still be good friends and still like other things and not always have to do things with each other, but they can still be good friends and get together when they could, all right? And then this one is Best Friends for Francis. It's a similar thing that you always don't have to be right there with your friend doing things, okay? Being a friend means lots of different things and just being nice to people. You know what? So we can be a friend. So I, Miss Lee and I are good friends because we see each other a lot. We work with each other. We know each other. We know each other's families. But then you know what? I can be friends with someone that maybe I don't know very well because I can just be nice and get, be a good person. So that's being kind of a nice friend, even if you don't know them really well. All right, so we have teachers. Teachers are very important and we have friends. Friends are so important to have. All right, so that was three and four, or I'm sorry, four and five. So this is gonna be two and three and they kind of go together because they're about family and we all have family. So I have a family, even though I'm grown up, I still have parents and these are my parents. There's my dad, and there's my mom, and there is their little dog, Lily, all right? So these are my parents, okay? They don't live in the same house as me anymore because I'm older and I have my own family, okay? So I've got a family that lives in my house, like you guys have a family that lives in your house, but then you might have other people in your family that live other places. Sometimes they might live right next door, Sometimes they might live in the same city. Sometimes they might live someplace else, all right? So my mom and dad, and I've got one sister, they actually, they don't live in Georgia. They live in Missouri. And I have a sister named Amy, and she also lives in Missouri. So most of my other family lives in Missouri. But then I do have, I have cousins, and I have aunts, and I have uncles. So I have a bigger family, all right? So these are my parents. You guys, have parents and your parents are so important. And parents can be different. Carrot parents, you can have one parent, you can have two parents. Sometimes you might even have three parents that are involved in your life. Sometimes you might even have grandparents that are your parents. And that's okay. Just like your family, you know, here is my family. So my husband, myself, and my son Alex and my son Andrew. All right. So these four people live in our house and they are my family, okay? Even though my bigger family is still part of my family. My parents live someplace else. So in your family, your parents make up your family and your siblings make up your family. But that also, like I said, it can include grandparents and aunts and uncles and different families live together, okay? So some families are very small. So when I grew up, it was just my mom, my dad, me, and my sister, Amy, and dogs. We lived in the house, okay, and that was our family. But for a long time, I had a grandmother that lived with us. So she lived with us and she was part of our family. She ate all our meals together, she ate all the holidays. She lived in our house. So she was a more of an immediate part of our family. But then I had a grandmother and a grandfather that didn't live in our, in our house, but they were still part of our family. So your family is just whoever is part of you and makes you feel loved and um, that's your family, that they love you. And sometimes you have really, really good friends even that are part of your family because you always are together or you always spend time together and they're part of your family. So families come in all different shapes and sizes. There can be small families, there can be big families, and it just, it doesn't matter as long as there is love. That's the most important thing. Okay, because sometimes you might have grandmas and grandpas that are your parents and they love you. Or you might have a mom and dad and they love you. Or you might have six brothers and sisters. That's all part of your big happy family. So the biggest thing with number two and three is that parents, whoops, upside down, <laughs> parents and your family are all part of a big extended family and they are so important in our lives and the most important thing is that you just love one another 
okay? And kind of like friends, you might not always agree, but you need to be respectful and love each other. All right, well, that gets us to the number one. So all of those, you could even think that maybe house was your second most important thing. Um, and maybe the doctor was kind of number 10. That doesn't matter. But the most important thing is that the number one thing is at the top. And that is God and Jesus. And I just have this picture to show you. And this is a picture of actually Jesus with all the kids around him. Let the children come to him. We have been talking about the Bible and all the wonderful things God created. Well, coming up in December is Christmas time. And that's when, do you know who was born? Jesus. Jesus was born at Christmas time. And that's why we celebrate Christmas. So during chapel in December, I'm going to be reading stories and talking to you about all the different parts of the nativity scene and of Christmas and how Jesus was born for us. And he was born on Christmas Eve. So that is exciting. So I hope you just enjoy all of these things. And I hope you think about how important your family is and how much love you how much love you have for them and they are so important and you should be really thankful for them just as much as you should be thankful for the food that you have to nourish your bodies each and every day and that we keep God and Jesus the Bible in church so right here in our heart so important that it is kind of like that number one thing that we should be really thankful for okay so I hope you did enjoy this chapel, and I hope you kind of realize that there's lots of things that we are so thankful for, and you guys are lucky. I know you have lots of toys and things that other boys and girls don't have, so just think about that and be appreciative of that. All right, well, let us, let's pray first, okay? So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for my family. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for my preschool. And thank you for my teachers. Thank you for loving us. And thank you for all the things that are in my life. My house, my clothes, my food, my friends, my family, and so much more. And thank you, God, for being in my life and always being there for me no matter what. It's in your name we pray. Amen. All right. Very good. And God does love you so, so very much. All right. Let's end with Jesus loves me. Ready? Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Have a great day. Have a great week and have a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye, boys and girls.